what is up everybody so we're just gonna be doing some some riding on the CSC I was gonna go to the five mile loop at Clearmont but eh, I don't know I still wasn't feeling it it'd be kind of cutting it close to getting home and everything so I'm just gonna go ride around town <laughs> Ugh. Here we go. Shirt was going crazy. <laughs> I hope you guys have been having a, a good holidays, a good, good little. I had a good little weekend off. It was nice, and uh, getting ready for Happy New Year. So hopefully, 2021 will be a little bit better than 2020. We'll see. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you guys for everything. This year has been great for me as a as a YouTuber, and uh, I met a lot of. I feel like I meet a lot of people. I feel like I've met a lot of people this year from all over the world and. You know, just, you know, it's really cool. Shout out to the guy from France. Again, it's just mind, it just blows my mind. Every time I see somebody from another country or another part of the world, it's like, it's just, it's just crazy. It's so cool. So a little update on my brother-in-law, David. He's, uh, he's taking his classes. He said the first class was awesome. The instructor said he's doing really good at Harley, so. Uh, yeah, we'll see. He's, I think he's got his test today, or maybe, I think it was a three-day class, actually. Yeah, my, my class was only two days, but I think he's doing a three-day class, so. We'll see. Yeah, be, I'm excited. Maybe we'll do a little moto vlog with him after he gets his license and everything. Actually, we'll go this way. I've never... This is supposed to be a new, like... Connector Road, but I've never been down this way, so we'll see. Oh, wow, that was a bump. New asphalt. It's a little sandy, so you gotta be careful with all the construction. This is a nice little road, though. Oh, look at that. Sandy, so we're gonna be careful here. Oh wow, that's a nice road. That's a, that's a pretty decent little stretch of road there. Nice little new road right there. That's pretty sick, pretty dope. Uh, So there's an RX3 and an RX4 from CSC. They're both similar bikes. They got a little differences. Obviously, one's bigger than the other. But there's some body style differences. There's also like uh, exhaust routing. And so why why on earth did I buy the RX4 over the RX3? Well, the first reason I just I like the looks better of the RX4. I like that the headlight design. And uh, on the RX3, it's more of like a traditional headlight. It looks more like uh, like the Hawk, kind of. Which doesn't look bad. It looks good. But I, I just I liked that uh, the, the look of the RX4. Now I did like on the RX3. I like I like the exhaust routing on the RX3. It's a single. It's got like a single pipe, and it's routed above the. It's up upper route. The benefit of an up route bike is of an up route exhaust is it's out of the way of the you know underneath from where like rocks and stuff can hit it. But and you also the other benefit is you can put a center stand on it. <laughs> on this you can't really put a center stand. And then the obvious the biggest reason was more power. This is the biggest reason, just more power, bigger CCs. And I, I just wanted that. That's I, I you know I already have a small 
low powered fun little bike the hawk i don't need another one that's just a little bit bigger <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> so that's that's why i picked the rx4 over the rx3 it is cheaper like a, i thought a grand cheaper um now this one that i bought the rx4 I bought during a sale so it came with like you know like 500 dollars worth of accessories like you know the racks usually are sold separate like the luggage package thing the plastic ones the metal cases that they offer is like 500 or 800 dollars or something like that <clears throat> i did want to give a huge shout out to lv blackhawk so he's been like a subscriber since the early days. And uh, he's also got a Hawk. He's got a DLX. He's out in Las Vegas. And uh, yeah, it's one of the cool, he just, he's always been there for me since day one, making these videos, kind of root me on. And uh, yeah, just huge shout out to him. MVP award right there, LB Blackhawk. So go send him some love. Tell him I sent him over, sent y'all over, and yeah, just uh, go check his videos out. That was a motorcycle cop. That was this really cool, actually. <laughs> I really do want a lot of exhaust, but I'm kind of getting used to this. Plus, I still get a warranty. <laughs> like the video today it's a little too busy it's been busy all, all month oh like see like right now <laughs> but I mean it's good to get out there and ride a little bit just kind of get some miles in good uh, free therapy you know buy it well not really free I just spent a lot of money on a motorcycle but <laughs> somewhat free free therapy it's a one-time charge therapy so <laughs> It was a very expensive one-time charge. Anyway, oh, and then you have insurance. Never mind. So maybe it's maybe it's not okay. It's included therapy. All right. <laughs> just kind of nice to kind of just go out for a ride before you go to work. Just kind of relieve all the stress. It's just a good little hobby to have. That's why motorcycling, mountain biking, all that. It's just it's just the best type of hobbies to have. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It'd be really dope if y'all subscribe, and until next time, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.